Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you feel like you're jumping in in the middle of a movie, you are. I'd already started this pour when I realized that half of my tilting wasn't even on camera, so I just thought I'd start again. So here we go, we're gonna lay our base coat down, or our pillow. It's quite thick as you can see, and it's exactly that. It's a pillow for the best of your paints to sit on. So, you know what, before I start this, I really want to say thank you. I've had some incredible artists reach out to me, express an interest in this technique, do the technique. I got up this morning to find Susan King had done a wonderful video, and she did a beautiful piece and just knocked it out of the park. And you know what? Thank you. Thank you very much for showing an interest and for your likes and just for watching it's uh it's very surreal to have artists who i follow now interested in me um it's incredibly humbling and again thank you many many thank yous okay guys let's put some color down here this is red violet uh, i believe liquitex it's quite pretty this is metallic orange i believe it's an artist loft metallic orange as you can see, I don't puddle my colors on top of each other. I kind of put them beside each other. And that's only so that when I blow them out, they there's a better chance of having more individual color. It's only me, you guys. It's just the way I do it. it means absolutely nothing. My personal preference, that's all. Permanent Violet. Another exotic, beautiful, rich color, you guys. So we're going to put a little bit of Decoart White Satin Enamel mixed with Amsterdam White on that. Black Cell Activator. And y'all know I gotta have a little bit of lime. Life blooms would not be blooms without lime. And just to give our foliage some variation, let's add a little bit of this olive green. Okay, I'm gonna pop some bubbles. And then we're gonna modify this bloom. Okay guys, here we go. Mind the top of my head, we're gonna blow this out. wait I have a sore throat that was a tough blowout tough tough blowout my base coat is very very thick maybe a little bit too thick definitely didn't want to move very much but we'll see what we can do with it it's gonna change when we stretch it out some goopy thing right there I don't know what that is all right maybe I'll just blow it a little more you guys Okay, all right, let's take our modifying tool. Today it's a toothpick. Nothing fancy, plain toothpick. And let's modify our bloom. We're gonna make some little lines that just intersect each other. Some little swishes. We're gonna do some now, you guys. We're gonna do some later. Hmm. See how thick my base is. It's actually, uh, it's actually making marks in the paint as I'm making lines. The lines are staying. Okay, never mind. We're gonna make the best of it. I'm gonna go back to center. Go, go, go. I'm 
I'm going to go over that side, you guys, and we're going to come back to center now. Getting this paint off the corners. Perfect. As you can see, it takes a bit of effort, you guys. My base coat is really, really thick. Probably thicker than most. Um, and I have to have it that way. I don't seem to be able to get it to maintain the little lines and the details when I have it thinner. I have tried. And I keep tweaking my mixes, so if you're following along, you know what, always look at the description box because I do adjust things quite frequently. I'm going to try to take that right off that purple stripe. Okay. Now you can see why I divide my colors and I don't plop them together. So I very definitely have individual colors. I, I prefer that look. Again, that's just me. Okay, guys, we're going to leave that here. And we're going to go in and make some little details. And then we're going to stretch it a little bit more. I'll take that messy white corner. Okay, here we go. I'm going to use, I think it's actually a manicure stick. Because this piece is a little bit bigger because we're working on cradle boards. Excuse my arm, that was rather rude. Okay, let's just go in here, you guys, and modify our bloom. Gonna, I don't really know how to modify it. Hmm. I'll just experiment. I say this all the time, large stick makes large lines, small stick makes small lines. When you stretch it, you got to remember that the lines will spread. So if you don't want big gaps, then don't use a big stick. Toothpicks work well, dental picks work well. Um, yeah, it's kind of the sky's the limit, you guys. You really, you really can. Oh, goodness, that wasn't very good. You really can just play with it. That's better. I try to remember to wipe my stick each time so that we don't get you no know, orange in the white like we're doing right now. But you can go the opposite way. You can drag it, drag it out and leave the color. It's really up to you. You know, some pieces, I don't know, some pieces I just don't even want to modify a lot. Some pieces I just find are super pretty as is, but we're going to do something in here, I think. Yeah, what about that? love this I love I love pink I'm a pink girl you guys I really am a pink girl okay let's stretch this out and see what happens so let's make some whiskeys in here maybe okay here we go again I'm just gonna clean up these corners that I added paint to a little bit it's a fine line between too thick and too thin too thin it doesn't hold its shape and too thick it's hard to get it to move and hard to get it to do what I want it to do. I think we're just going to maybe blow some of that off. Hey 
you guys. I'm pretty happy with that. A few little yucky bubble things here that have to go. Well, that's a goopy bit that has to go for sure. All right. Okay, you guys, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm going to bring you down, have a closer look. Just like that, you guys. Perfect. One modified bloom pour. 10 by 10 cradle board in beautiful colors. Thanks for watching. See you next time.